Do we let all of our customers keep black boxes in back? If we only allowed angels to be customers, soon we'd have no customers at all. Okay, so a new film being released in theaters nationwide next Friday is set right here in Chicago in the 1950s. It tells the story of a British tailor who unwittingly finds himself making suits for the mob. We're thrilled to say good morning to Academy Award winning writer and director of the movie The Outfit, Graham Moore. Good to see you. Good to see you. It's so good to be back in Chicago, my hometown. That's great. Yeah, you're just a couple blocks from where I'm sitting right here. Uh, you did a deep dive, Graham, into organized crime in Chicago in the 50s. I love talking to people who do extended research. What surprised you the most uh, as you were doing a deep dive? You know, what I love so much about the Chicago gangland history of the 40s and 50s was in some sense how much I hadn't heard about it before. You know, growing up in Chicago, you hear so much about, about the Al Capone era, about Elliot Ness, about some of the great gangster stories of the 20s and 30s. But getting into the characters and the sort of richness of the Chicago underworld in the 50s felt like such an interesting contrast with the sort of godfather world that was happening on the East Coast at the same time. You know, on the East Coast, you've got the sort of what we see in the godfather, the sort of like elegant, beautiful, um, moneyed criminal empires, where in Chicago, we got to see what was, what was really going on on the streets. You know, I'm so glad you mentioned Godfather. When I think of Godfather, or I think of Goodfellas, or I think of Untouchables, I think about how great the gangsters looked. Why do you think we've always had such a fascination with gangsters and their threads? I think because they have such fascination with their own threads. I think that was one of the things we found that was really exciting about this. This whole movie was inspired by a true story um, about the first bug the FBI ever planted. This is true. The first bug the FBI ever planted in its history, they put in, uh, in Chicago in 1956 inside a tailor shop because they wanted to get at the mob because they knew that all these mobsters spent all this time hanging out at the tailor shop, going into the back room, having conversations where no one could hear them. Um, their tailors were sort of their priests and their therapists and their bartender and their friends. And I thought that was such an interesting world that even, even in the 50s, the FBI knew that if you want to get at the mobsters, you, you go to them through their tailor. Well, on a personal note, I absolutely loved Imitation Game. I know you got an Oscar for that and well-deserved, and I'm looking forward to this movie. You've got great people in it. Uh, what a great backdrop here in Chicago. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll look forward to the film next weekend. My pleasure. Enjoy.